All right, ladies and gentlemen, I made another uh, flea market run this weekend. Uh, I wasn't going, but uh, friends of ours wanted us to take them up there, so I went up there. Uh, I bought $70 worth of stuff, and I got 25 items, so I figured like $2.80 an item is the way I figured it. The thing about it is, I got some really good buys because I got, well, I'll show you here in a second. I got an axe, probably a Chinese brand. It's split right here, but I'm gonna fix that. I'm probably gonna wrap this handle with some uh, piano wire and epoxy it. This will make a good all-purpose hatchet. A friend of mine needed an axe, a hatchet, so I got that for him. Another friend of mine, I paid eight bucks for this one, and he wanted it for his uh, secondary vehicle. Bought this hatchet for eight bucks, a uh, carpenter hatch, hatchet, and same thing. He wanted uh, this for a secondary toolbox for his truck. Bought a regulator for five bucks or four bucks, something like that. Uh, I bought these one, two, three, four items the 12 inch Crescent brand, the Proto brand set of channel lock brand i think these are 16 inch and vice grip 70 inch uh they're good just need to be cleaned up they were used i bought that that for a 20 dollar bill and then i think the rest of everything here i paid like a dollar or maybe two bucks i don't remember it wasn't wasn't much I got a Cobalt USA made. I didn't even know Cobalt still made ratchets in USA. A 22316. In uh, good shape. It's dry. It's a little dry. It needs to be, needs to be cleaned up, but I'll take care of that. Old school. This is old school. This is uh, like 1920. It's a Blackhawk T wrench. Uh, Pick this up. You can tell somebody used a pair of channel locks, vice grips, or something on it at one time. I'll clean that. I don't have one, so I bought it. I bought another uh, Craftsman USA made ratchet. I bought another uh, uh, Industro Rent Super. It's got the dust cap on it. That I wanted this one. And I bought a lot of client with well. I also brought the Cobalt Breaker Bar, USA made. It matches with this. I paid a dollar a piece for these. A dollar a piece, that was a really good buy. Uh, but what I was saying, the Klein stuff, I bought the Klein strippers, nothing wrong with them. A uh, dollar, Klein nut driver, a dollar. Klein Phillips screwdriver for a dollar, really good shape. Tips in good shape. Another nut driver, uh, Klein. Not sure what size. I think this is quarter inch. Yeah, it is quarter inch. Uh, not sure. I don't think this is a Klein, but it could be. I got to look at the patent number on it. May not be a Klein. I think it is, but it's a Phillips. Uh, got a reamer. A, a Klein reamer, and this is for electrical box reamer. Uh, it's all there, both sides. So this side's brand new. And then I got a large Klein screwdriver with a metal cap on it. Needs to be cleaned up. Square up just at the end of it, just a little bit, but that'll be a great. Then I got two picks for a dollar each they're matco picks uh they're in good shape nothing wrong with them a little rusty on the tip there but a little dirty these are expensive matco doesn't sell anything cheap another nut driver and i think this is i'm not sure seven sixteenths uh it's a klein bought another craftsman 43 748 or 784 excuse me uh, nothing wrong with this it works good just needs to be a little cleaned up 
bought for a dollar. And I bought this. I think this is a Mac. And you know what? I just realized something. I bought a Klein. No, I didn't. I didn't. I put him back down because he wanted too much for him. I was going to say I bought a Klein pliers, but I didn't. I think these are Max. It's got an adjustable tension on the spring. There's nothing wrong. Cutter's in excellent condition. I like the way these are designed to get in the excess real nice areas. Uh, got this for a dollar. A lot of this stuff I paid a dollar for. I meant all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve items I paid a dollar a piece. But all total, I got twenty-five things here and I paid seventy seventy dollars for it. Uh, you know, they still make this ratchet. It's a twenty-five dollar bill. Uh, the reamer they still make, that's thirty dollars which is a good buy since I only paid a dollar for it. <laughs> and so, you know, these three items right here, you figure the rest of it's free if I would have bought this out of the store. So, and now mind you, a lot of this stuff is not for me. I bought the uh, adjustable wrenches, the vice grip, the slip joint crescent, or the, uh, pliers I bought for a guy at the shop I bought two hatchets for pe other people uh, I did buy I did buy uh, I think I'm gonna wind up uh, giving it to him he, he's wanting a 3 8 but one of these 3 8 I'll wind up giving it to him probably the breaker bar and the the cobalt uh, so he'll have a good set this weekend was a great weekend to go to the flea market. There was vendors at the wazoo. Their, their prices were really, really good. Uh, and it was amazing. There was a few vendors that were really, really high. And you could tell they weren't selling because they didn't have nobody at their tables. So, and I don't like to beat people up. Uh, but I did ask the guys, you know, when he, I told, he had clients for a dollar, and I said, you sure? And he said, yeah, he had a box full of drivers, screwdrivers, and when I say a box full, it was, uh, it was a huge tote full of them, different, all kinds, and he said a dollar. So I dug through them and got the clients that I could see real easily. Uh, uh, these clients, I'm probably gonna wind up giving away as after I clean them up, make them look good. I'll give them away as a Christmas present. A friend of mine collects Kleins, so he'll get them. The, the Industrial, I'm definitely keeping that. That's It has a dust cover on it. That one I'm keeping. These are, these type of ratchets are just almost indestructible. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Not bad, prices were good, so uh, I should have bought more. I just don't need it. Uh, I could have bought, I could have bought totes of sockets. I could have probably bought, well, he quoted me one tote, $80, and he quoted me another tote, $50. And the $50 tote probably had 300 or more sockets in it. And the other tote, it may have had close to 500 sockets. And they were, you name it, just all over the gamut. Uh, I just didn't need them. And uh, they were, for, for 50 and 80, they would have been, for $130, you could have uh, bought more sockets than you'd ever would have needed. And he was just selling. He was, he, it, I bought the, the, crescent wrenches from him but anyways ladies and gentlemen give me thumbs up thumbs down tell me what you think would you have wasted your money on this was it worth it for you or would have been worth it for you for me yeah a lot of these will clean up they're they're usable most of this stuff is usable as is except for maybe this one this one is going to take some work uh, and that this one hatchet but everything here 
I just clean it with some little bit of soap and water, whatever hand cleaner or something, and they are usable. There's nothing wrong with them. Uh, like I said, this one right here, it's probably brand new. Uh, I think it needs to be oiled, but then I'm not real fond of cobalt stuff. Uh, and a lot of tools now coming out of factory, they're the, they don't grease them anymore. So, but right there is a good little set. Both 3 8 breaker bar, and the ratchet. All right, that's enough talking. Ladies and gentlemen, tell me what you think. Subscribe, give me thumbs up, thumbs down, and y'all have a good evening.